We caught these three trying to slip away. Should have seen their faces. It's a big risk arresting Saran's most powerful landowners. I'm hoping you've got the evidence to make it worthwhile. Where's Marshal Flaren? Flaren's not coming. Here's the evidence that proves she can move with the plantation. Resisted, eh? I had a feeling it might go that way. Lauren was happy to send other people to prison, but going herself, her, that rattled her knees. It's a shame she won't live to see the inside of a cell, but these three will, for at least a while. What happens now? With Lauren dead, command falls to the senior officer. For now, that's, uh, well, that's me. I'll send constables out to the plantations to liberate the slaves. In the meantime, I've got to take this evidence to House Redoran. What about our mutual friend? Oh, Melar. Well, I took a hard look at the evidence. Far as I can tell, this was just one big misunderstanding. Crane and I released him just before we set out. You'll find him in town nursing his wounds, no doubt. You should speak with him. I'll do that. Don't cause trouble. <laughs> like they know I'm an evil doer. No, it's because I'm in the outfit. Yeah. We'll be coming back to that. Well? Hester. Greetings, my friend. You cut quite the dashing figure in my old regalia. Another spectacular victory for the Scarlet Judge, eh? I will miss donning the cowl, but it does me good to know that my final adventure helped liberate the people of Suran. Hey, so you're retiring? I mean, you kind of had both knees broken, so it kind of makes sense. Yes, but I do so knowing that the legacy of the Scarlet Judge is in good hands. We Dark Elves are beset on all sides by greed and scheming malice. I fought it all my life, but now it falls to you. Keep up the work, and be the hero Vardenfell needs. I will. Ah, look there. The fruits of your labor. Stay in line and keep those mouths shut. That's right. Now time to see what this clinic is up to. Knife can now be morphed. Yay! Hi, Mr. Mandalon. Yes, I suppose you've come for a consultation. And what is it? Unsightly warts? Poor eyesight? Flat feet, perhaps? I'm here to talk about the town alchemist Talerna. You poor thing. Did one of her bizarre herbal cures cause worse pains than it cured? Honestly, I've given some thought to drafting a letter to the Archmage of the Guild. These herbalists and hedge witches really need some proper training. Oh, you don't practice any alchemy here. Of course not! Wait, are you another one of these bark-munching herbal apologists? Telenra's teas are not remedies. I'm sure she makes a delicious marinade and some very fine scented lotions for the ladies, but I'd hardly call that medicine. None. Now, see here, if she sent you to fish for an apology, she won't get it. I'll not apologize for the truth. Alchemy is a peasant science. Sheer quackery! Now go, and take this silly book with you. I'm sick of it cluttering up my shelf. Okie dokie. Lady, person, something tells me you got your things wrong. Let me guess. 
Menaldinian was an insufferable ass and refused to apologize. Pretty much, he told me to return this book to you as well. Did he now? <laughs> well, he'll certainly regret that. I've cooked up a wonderful plan to teach him the value of alchemy, but I'll need your help. What do you say? Up for a bit of poetic justice? I'm always up for giving someone their just desserts. Oh, come on now. I'm not going to poison him. I'm going to brew a potion that requires precise timing and freshly harvested lichen. The one that grows at the base of the Emperor Parasols. If you gather the lichen, I can focus on the instruments. Okie dokie, I'll go Meet get that lichen. Meet me in Menaldinian's house and we'll put my plan into action. Let me leave. The way I want to. I don't like using normal ways to escape places. I like jumping over fences and crawling through windows. Jump. Oh, that's a fence I can't jump. Don't tell me this one's far. Charge! I still can't believe I have to retrain my entire speed. Parasol lichen. Do they call it lichen in this, or is it actually lichen, like, you know, in Earth? In real life? It's cool, Bean. You another one bites the. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Boop. Ooh, I got an Iron Hound Ravenger, which means you're gonna be PQC. And take the gold. I have a bunch of items in my other character. If I need any of them, I'm just. Oh, that's not something I wanted. I need yeah. health potions.
Now, how do I get into this building again? Coming with your herbs, with the lichen. Let's get this man his what? geo sisters. Ooh, a beggar. Hi. <gasps> We're not allowed to talk to you. Okay. Perfect. You may have noticed an odor. It's subtle, barely noticeable in fact, but once I add it to this wick wheat and quama shell solvent, ha ha! The perfect pheromone for the common house cat! Wait, your revenge on Melodon is a house cat? Surprised? He may have squeezed a few secrets out of me, but he revealed some facts about himself along the way. For instance, He's violently allergic to cats. Sprinkle this potion over the plants near his... All right. Hope you packed a handkerchief, you smart bastard. What's going on out here? Snooping, eh? Why, I have half a mind to... Cats? Ah! Achoo! was just... Did you see the look on his face? A.M.'s mercy, he certainly wasn't exaggerating about that allergy. <laughs> what a buffoon! What now? Do we just leave him here to suffer? No. As much as I'd like to, you know the healer's oath. Do only moderate harm to those who cross you. I brewed a tea that should alleviate his symptoms. You can give it to him. But only if he agrees to come out and make a public apology. And what if he refuses? Then leave him to his sniffles and blubbering. Patients tend to avoid healers covered in their own snot. He can settle this business with his reputation intact. All he needs to do is a... Okay. Oh, what? Hi, kitties. Well, you're a pet. Oh, are you a Siamese kitty? Aww. Eleanor? There's an in-game Eleanor. Oh. Oh, everything itches. Don't be coy. I know who's responsible for this travesty. I never should have told that scheming witch about my allergy. A curious tea, born, but demands that you apologize. Undignified. Apologize to a grubby Telvanni piss peddler? Are you deranged? I shall report her. I shall. Oh, oh, what's the use? Fine. She wins. Ifrae's bones. What a monstrous injustice. Oh, just give me that swill. Oh. It had better work. Okie dokie. I'll let you know her. I'll let her know you agreed. And when you come out when you're ready and you apologize publicly. Well, well. Let me out. So, did Menaldinian relent, or should we leave him to his wheezing? He agreed to come out and to apologize to you. Oh, thank goodness. Luring cats to his door every day would have gotten awfully tiresome. In the end, he'll see it's for the best. Collaboration always yields better results than competition. You and I are proof of that, right? Thanks again, Sarah. Okie dokie. Lendra, I wish you for that most efficacious tea. 
And... Your alchemical skills yield impressive results. And... It was rude of me to malign your alchemical practice. I... apologize. Menaldinian, I forgive you. There's no reason for us to be at odds. We should try to cooperate, yes? Yes, <laughs> agreed. So, now that we're on good terms, can you please shoo these horrid creatures away from my clinic? Of course. I brew just the thing. Of course she do. Bye bye. Be seeing you, partner. Farewell. Oh, look at all the kitties leaving. Where are they going? Let's follow the kitties. Oh, they disappear right after the stay. My legs, I keep trying to break my legs. Oh, come on. Thank you. What is it? This is bad. This is very, very bad. What's bad? You look well-traveled, friend. Are you, by chance, going to Sadrach Mora? I can make it worth your while. What's over there? Opportunity. Or well, that's what I thought, until I angered Deve Fair by failing to deliver the special mushrooms he ordered on time. Lost the shipment. Now I'm in a bind. I have the mushrooms, but I'm afraid Fair will evaporate me for late delivery. You aren't at fault for the late delivery. So fear shouldn't do anything to you. Won't do anything to you, I mean. I guarantee it. Besides, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. You're saving my life here, friend. Can I ask you a few For questions? someone who's helping me out this How do I get to Tomorrow? Sadrach Mora is up on the eastern coast, so you could walk, but I wouldn't recommend it. Talk to Cinder, our local navigator. She can sail Ooh, you she up can there on the next trip. The Telvanni aren't like you and I, friend. They're powerful and quick to anger and have no qualms about harming those who displease them. And what's so special? No clue. If a Telvani mage wants them, a Telvani mage gets them. Okay. Up, up, up. Up, up. Let's go here. Oh, 
one quest through after another. You kidding me? It was up there and I just no. Hello. Tell me you're here about my request. I can't afford to waste another minute. About time. I, I was almost starting to think no one would come. An area had caused one of our ships to run aground. I need you to recover what you can and dispose of the creature before it can cause any more damage, namely to my career. Okay, dokie. Apparently it sang a little song and all of my well-respected sailors just went belly up and ran the ship ashore. From what I can gather, this isn't the first time it's happened either. Really, I've never heard of something so outlandish. Can you tell me the sailors were tucking? Sailors, pirates, oh, it has quite the little collection. Whoever doesn't drown ends up under its spell, including some of my own workers. We've made several attempts, but they cannot be reasoned with. Just make sure they don't get in your way. Okay, okay. You know, I'll kill them all. You go out into the world with big dreams, like being successful and worldly and ridiculously wealthy, and then your first big shipment is destroyed by a singing myriad, and you really start to question things, namely your career choices. Well, it's your first shipment. Things happen. Do you think people got to be big and wealthy overnight? No, it takes a lot of hard work, determination. But, yeah, we'll go. <laughs> to this person while I'm here. I guess it is in here. Okay. I was here. I sense you know of our plight. Have you come here to help my tribe? I was told you have information on retrieving items from Nushla. The Zainab tribe has worked within the ruins for generations. We were recently driven out by a band of Ashlander exiles and do not have the skills or warriors to take it back. It is a blessing that the temple agreed to help. Before the attack, we had already gathered items for shipping. I believe these particular pieces are of great value, and I hope selling them will get my tribe back on their feet. The task may be dangerous, but it is our only chance to move on. Tell the history more. of the ruins have always been a mystery to my people. I can tell you no more than our own eyes will see. You will meet with exiles when you first enter, but I doubt they have found a way to control the constructs family. Some Ashlanders farm the land, others hunt. My tribe harvested the tulip for parts and tools of value. Through trade, we were able to make a living this way. Now that the exiles have hold of the ruins, I'm not sure what we'll do next. Okay. We'll do that. 